Hey YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So today guys, I'm going to give you guys an inside look on how I create my thumbnails. So a couple days ago, I released a video on a website on how to create easy Fortnite wallpapers or thumbnails. And it seems like you guys really enjoyed that video because I got a whole bunch of comments of you guys asking me if I can make another video on how I make mine. So here it is, a step-by-step -step video guys. Um, I hope you guys find this informative and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so this is going to be the Fortnite that we are going to be creating. As you can see, it's pretty simple, um, you know, beginner friendly and things like that. So what you need to do is go to the website that is listed in that previous video. Um, if you guys haven't watched that video, I'll link it down in the description. But this is the MakeFortniteWallpapers.com website that we are going to be working on. So with this, just go ahead and import your own file for your background or whatever. And then after that, we need to add some elements on top of it. So we can do um, some skins that are here on the side, but the thing with these skins and the thing with this application is that uh, once you have the skin here, there's no outline tool and there's no way that you can change it. So what I usually do is I'll right click on it and I'll save the image as and kind of save it into my computer. And then I'll have to go to like Photoshop or GIMP and go ahead and add an outline. So I have this, um, already kind of set up here so I'm just going to show you guys really quickly how to add an outline on GIMP just for the people in the back that might not know it. So here it is we have Crackshot and the first step that we're going to do is put our layer onto the workspace. So I already went ahead and did that and our layer is selected as you can see this kind of um, dotted line, this yellow dotted line. And now what you want to do is go to your layers tab, go to transparencies, then alpha to selection. After that, it'll select the image, and then you'll have to go to select, go to grow, and then you have to grow it by whatever thickness you want it to be. So I always do eight because I think that's a pretty good, um, you know, proportionate thickness. So as you can see, it kind of grew it, you know, there's like a little bubble. So now what we have to do is fill in that bubble. But before we do that, we need to go to layers, new layer, and then just kind of name it whatever you want. And then we're going to use a bucket fill, select your color, and then just fill it. And then drag your layer down so that it's underneath. So as you can see now, we have our bubble around our image. And go ahead and do that with all of your YouTube elements. And then once you have those, you can save them to your computer. And then you can go to the Choose File tab, which is right here, and add them in onto your thumbnail. have all your elements positioned all you have to do is add some words and you're pretty much good to go so with me um, you know there's kind of like a new YouTube trend where they want you to add either no words or like only a limited amount so I usually do like three words tops and I don't usually count this victory royale because it's kind of like a logo at this point so in this application you can use the text feature here but um, you know, it, it kind of sucks, it kind of glitches out. So what I usually use is this free Fortnite font generator. Um, you use it over the internet, there's no download or anything. And all you have to do is kind of input what you want to say. So I have bot lobby, and then you go ahead, pick your font size or whatever, and then you can go ahead and pick your color. And then once you do that, you'll save it as PNG. So you'll have to go on this screen, right click and save as. So I already went ahead and did that. And what I usually do is import it into GIMP so I can add like a little outline on it. But I have one here so I can show you guys um, that you can go ahead and position it and you can make it smaller or bigger or whatever. So it doesn't really matter um, on here. It'll ask you like for your size. It doesn't really matter at that point. And then for the color, it doesn't really matter either because if you're going to put it into like GIMP or Photoshop, you can go ahead and change it. But once you have this, guys, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the video. That's pretty much the thumbnail. Just go ahead and position. So as you can see, I'm just kind of positioning it. And then I'm going to add a little bit of uh, angle. And maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. And I'll put this up top. Just like that. 
So yeah guys, that's the step-by-step -step video. As you can see, we created the thumbnail. It's pretty easy, pretty quick, uh, really beginner friendly for those um, you know the little kids that want to make a YouTube channel and stuff like that. So if you go to download wallpapers, this is how it'll look with all the cropping and things like that. So I think it's pretty good. I think it's um, it gets the point across, it's eye-catching, and it's clean, straightforward, not too cluttered, not too you know crazy. Um, this number right here is a little bit fuzzy, but I don't really care. Um, you guys can tell it's a 14, whatever. And um, so yeah, guys, um, I hope this has answered you know, you know, questions that you may have. If it hasn't, go ahead and leave it down in the comments down below and let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.